you've got to think about all sorts of things to do with your profile that will affect how you're perceived on the ground. It could be your gender, your religion, your nationality, your political affiliation, your sexuality. Even little things like whether or not you drink or smoke might affect how you're received in a given country. As a female reporter, my gender often comes into any risk assessment. There are many situations where I have to think, for example, about what I'm wearing because you don't want to draw attention to yourself. In fact, as a, as a journalist anywhere, no matter what gender you are, you don't want to draw attention to yourself. Um, you know, men shouldn't wear shorts in places where men don't normally wear shorts. But um, there have been many specific situations where I've really had to think ahead because I'm a female reporter. I've quite often been going into scenarios where I'm the only woman there. So I filmed in, uh, in gold mines in the middle of the Amazon where I was the only woman there that wasn't a prostitute. I filmed on a lobster diving boat uh, in the middle of the Caribbean off the coast of Honduras where I was on this boat for three days and I was the only woman there. We had to really plan about where was I going to go to the toilet? Where was I going to sleep? Was I going to have anybody in the room with me? As it actually turned out um, when I was on this boat, the captain gave up his quarters so that I could sleep there, which was very kind of him. And, you know, the, the, the men on the boat were very welcoming to me. They were lovely to me. But it was an intimidating environment. They were all watching porn upstairs while I was downstairs in the, in the, um, in the captain's quarters. And I was very glad that this wasn't something that we just had had to sort out when we were sitting on the boat, when we arrived on the boat. It was something that was planned in advance so that nobody was offended. There were no awkward moments and I could feel safe. But then equally, there are many other situations where being a woman has enabled me to get into scenarios that I think would be closed to a male reporter. Uh, interviewing women in, in Islamic countries, for example. Or, uh, you know, I, I made a film about overpopulation in Manila, the capital of the Philippines, and I spent a night um, in a very, very overcrowded house where there were nine children and, and their parents. And there were 12 of us all together in a very, very, very tiny space. And I, we were all sleeping on the floor like sardines together. I think perhaps if I'd been a man, it would have been more difficult for me to have got access to a domestic environment like that. So it, it can play into your hands, your gender, but you do have to think ahead about it, whether you're male or female.